All right, beta, we have a question for errors in suspense account. And the question is past paper question for November 2011. Majda prepared a trial balance on 31st August and the trial balance failed to agree and a suspense account was opened. We discussed previously, beta, whenever a trial balance failed to balance, we use a special account with the name of suspense. All right. It was discovered that all of the errors have been made in one of the trade receivable account and the name of that customer is MH Supplies Limited. Okay. It's a trade receivable. Okay. MH Supplies is a customer. Details of the account for August were as follows. MH Supplies is a customer and there is a three column account given. Now it is not a T account. It is basically a three column account also known as running balance account. Now, sir, what is the difference between a T account and a three column account? In a T account, you need to balance the account at the end of each month. But in a three column account, the balance is calculated after every transaction. Now, the opening balance at 1st August was 1650. Uh, MH supplies owed us how much amount? 1650. And on 10th of August, we made uh, sales on credit uh, of 460. And now the customer owes 2110. And when the customer returned the goods, that is sales return. This amount should be deducted from the total balance and now it's 2050 balance and when he paid us the amount then it should also be credited from the customer account and the balance was 433 and then there is a discount and it must be a discount allowed that whenever our customers pay us earlier than promise we are supposed to give them discount and because of this discount basically the discount should come on the credit side why because of discount the customer is now going to pay us less than previously so this 433 this 33 should be on the credit side and the amount should be 400 as per this data is given now let us see there are three of the errors that were made one two three name the document sent by ms supplies to record the transaction on 13th august now what has happened on 13th august let us see the transaction of 13th august now, beta, on 13th August, let's see, uh, this is 13th August, there's a sales return. So, beta, whenever the customer has returned the goods to us, name the document, sent to MS Supplies. So, the customer must, must have given us debit note, but that does not have any value. And we, as a supplier, we are Majda, which document we are going to send our customer. Okay, when we uh, uh, accepted the uh, return goods, we are going to send customer credit note just remember beta customer always gives debit note which has no value and the supplier always gives the customer which note credit note here it is asking that which document will uh, supplier give to customer and it is credit note then name the type of error made on 20th august now what has happened on 20th august let us see we have sold goods on credit $1,200 to home to MS supplies was correctly entered in the sales journal, but was posted to the account of M hardware. Now what happened better? We sold the goods to MS supplies, but instead by error, we recorded in another customer's account, which was M hardware. So if we made the entry in the wrong account, but the type of account is correct better, it is known as error of commission. Error of commission is said to have occurred when we have made the entry in the wrong account. The account is wrong, but the type of account is correct. Now, beta, there are three uh, errors that have been made by Majda. So what we need to do, we need to correct those errors and we need to make general entries for that. On note one, beta, on 10th August, we have so, uh, goods with a list price of 800 less 20% trade discount was sold to MS Supplies. Now, let us calculate what would be the amount for that. So basically, beta, the list price was how much? 800 and the discount was 20%. So if we applied 20% to 800, we got 160. And if we deduct 160 from 800, so the actual amount of sale is how much? It is $640 was sold to MS Supply transactions correctly recorded in the sales journal. So if we have recorded correctly in the sales, now what is the error that we have made? We have made in MS Supplies account. Let us see on 10th of August. But on the 10th of August, we have recorded the sales in the customer account with the amount of 460. Now, beta, the actual sales was basically 640, but we have made a transposition error and transposition error has occurred when two figures are transposed, two figures have changed their places. So instead of writing 640, we have written 460. Now, as you can see, 6 and 4 have changed the places. And the mistake is only on one of the side that is mistake is only in the MH supplies account 
and not the uh, sales account because it has been correctly recorded in the sale so basically we need to debit the customer by how much 640 but we have recorded the customer's account we have debited customer's account by only 460 now we need to take the difference between 640 and 460 and what is that the difference between the two is 180 so basically we have uh, debited less uh, 180 less than we actually had so what we need to do we need to further the de further debit the customer by 180 so the customer is basically an asset and we need to debit mx supplies account by how much 180 and as we can see there is no mistake in the sales account so therefore the correction on the other side must be through the suspense account instead of writing uh, sales we are writing suspense on the opposite side okay now let us see whether the second error we have sold the goods 1200 dollar to mx supplies now instead of writing it in the mx supplies account we have uh, incorrectly debited m hardware account now i am hardware was not actually the customer whom we have sold the goods this time so we need to credit m hardware account because uh, that was debited by mistake we need to credit m hardware account and we need to debit the correct customer that is mh supplies okay beta so this is the error of commission and we are correcting the error of commission let us see the third error on 23rd august MS supplies paid the balance on 1st August less 2% cash discount. So uh, the balance of 1st August was being paid by the customer. And let us see what was the balance on the 1st August. Beta. The balance was 1650. So if we apply 1% to 1640, 1650, sorry, 2% to 1650. So the discount is basically $33. Now, as you can see, discount is given $33. Correct, the transaction was correctly recorded in the cash book. So it's correctly recorded in the cash book. Now, what is the mistake that we have done in, done in MS Supplies account? Now, better the question here arises that whenever we give discount to the customer because they are paying us earlier than promised. So now we need to ask them for, for more amount than previously or lesser amount than previously. We need to uh, ask them for lesser amount than previously. So actually, this 33 should be recorded on the credit side in the customer account. So the double entry that needs to be made beta is discount allowed should be debited. Why? Because it is an expense and the customer's account need to be credited. Okay. So uh, instead of uh, writing off the customer by 33, we have increased the customer by 33. And now we are asking them other than 433. Instead of asking 433 and not uh, 400, we are asking for 466. So basically we are expecting the customer to give us 33 more than previously in fact that should be the other way around the customer would be willing to pay us 33 less than previously so what we need to do we need to deduct the customer credit the customer but instead we debited the customer now better just remember whenever there is an error of reversal uh, the account that should have been debited is credited now we need to correct the entry with the double amount now instead of crediting MH supplies by 33, we need to credit the MH supplies by how much? 66. And why are we making the entry with the 66 amount beta? Uh, we are making the entry by a double amount because if we credit the customer's account by 33, uh, the error that we made, we increase the amount 33 by error that 33 would be credited when we make the entry by 33. But when we make the entry by 66, 33 is for the correction of the previously made error and 33 is the actual discount that needs to be given to the customer now instead of crediting the customer by 36 we 33 we need to credit the customer by 66 that is the double amount now instead of uh, debiting uh, discount allowed account we are debiting suspense why because it was correctly recorded in the cash book therefore in the cash book discount and bank account were correctly used so we need to correct it by way of suspense so better this is how we correct all of these errors and there is one mark for each of the entry uh, basically two marks for debit and credit now we need to do better we need to make the suspense account and we need to find the showing clearly showing the original balance on the trial balance now basically we are not being provided by uh, the difference on the trial balance so we are not sure whether the difference would come on the debit side on the credit side now the correct way to solve it is that just to leave one line blank both on the debits and credit side now let us see but in the first entry suspense is being credited uh, and the reference would be mh supplies in the first entry suspense is being credited 
In the second entry, there is no suspense. And the third entry, now suspense is being debited. Now the first entry suspense was created and all of the errors were made in one of the account that is MH supplies. Therefore, the opposite entry must be made in the MH supplies account. And in the second entry, there is no suspense because it is an error of commission. It's a, a error not affecting trial balance. And then the third entry, as you can see, a suspense account is being debited and the reference is MH supplies again. Now it's time to balance the suspense account and we need to see whichever side is greater better. The bigger side is obviously 180. So the bigger side balance should come on both of the sides and the shorter side balance should come uh, as difference on trial balance or difference as per trial balance. So this is basically the original difference as per trial balance. So if we had uh, made a trial balance, the trial balance uh, on the trial balance, the shorter side must have been the debit side and we, uh, it would be debit uh, shorts by 114. So if we are already given this uh, difference uh, previously, we just need to write the difference immediately. And we need when we enter all of the transactions uh, in the end, the suspense account would automatically balance. So normally there won't be any balance CD in the suspense account. And if still there is a balance CD, therefore all of not all the balances have been corrected. Now, uh, lastly, we need to correct the find the correct balance owed by MS supplies. Now the format is similar to that we learned previously when we made statement of corrected profit. So the only difference is that that in statement of corrected profit, we need to correct the uh, profit. And now we are not correcting the profit. We are correcting the customer's balance. Now let us start with the draft balance and this is the draft balance that we are being provided as 466 debit. Now when we made all of these three errors after all these three errors now uh, according to us the customer owes us 466 but that's obviously not correct. We need to adjust all of the errors plus and minus. Let us see uh, error wise in error one. In the first error beta, when we corrected this error now we need to debit MH supplies account. Therefore we are increasing MH supplies. So if we are increasing the customer, it would be added. And the second entry, again, we are increasing MH supplies. It's a customer and customer is an asset. Whenever asset increases, it is always debited. And in the third error, as we can see, the MH supplies account is now being credited. So but in the first two entries, customer account would be debited in error one and error two. In error one, it's being debited by 180. Error two, it's being debited by 1200. In the third error, we need to credit the customer account by 66. Now, once we made corrected all of the errors, now this is the corrected balance. Now the customer owes us and now uh, the customer that is MH supplies, they owe us how much amount? They owe us $17, $80. It's a debit balance. Therefore, it's a normal regular balance. The customer owes us this much amount. And lastly, although it's not uh, directly relating to errors, this is a general requirement. We need to uh, tell the benefits or advantages that Majda uh, can gain while using while making her accounts using ICT what is ICT information and communication technology basically it is talking about computerized accounting whenever we uh, make accounts by way of computers with the help of software okay so what uh, are the benefits that we can obtain so it's a very general requirement uh, ability to store large volume of data obviously large volume of data can be stored in very small place and the data can be transferred from one place to the uh, other uh, using some uh, USB data traveler drive or maybe through via the internet. Accuracy would be better, obviously, because of using computers. There would no, uh, there won't be any calculation errors. Okay, that are being done manually. Accuracy would be improved. Speed would obviously be improved. Speed of data processing would be improved because we are using computerized accounts. Security of data can be uh, make sure because uh, when we are using computerized account, we can use passwords and that uh, and due to that security would be improved greatly and it will help us making trial balance. It would be easier to make trial balance for income statement or SFP. It will be easier to make trial balance or financial statements. We were just uh, uh, asked for two benefits and we are writing more than two here just for uh, understanding purpose help in preparing any other type of reports and which can be better other types of report there can be budgets or there can be forecasts. budgets and forecasts are basically made for the future up to date account balances available at all of the time so whenever customer one of our customer asks us that how much they owe us 
we can easily tell them because our accounts are computerized we uh, don't want to uh, let them waiting okay so therefore we can immediately tell the balance of the customers or the suppliers so these are the benefits that we can obtain by using computerized account and there can be drawbacks as well if the examiner is asking for cons or drawbacks for computerized accounting it is basically costly it is basically uh, the staff need requires training and it would be time consuming to train the staff and there will be loss of output because the staff has not yet been trained or maybe uh, some older uh, age employees resist because they don't want to uh, uh, do this work of comprise accounting because it will be difficult for them to train themselves so they will oppose this change because they are not very uh, comfortable with using computers uh, the especially the one that, that they have um, mature age staff and there can be some other drawbacks maybe there is a password error and maybe the data got hacked and because of virus the system clashes uh, crashes and there can be such type of errors the cost of hardware and software and so on